We're gonna talk about kindness. So check this story out. You got this rich lady who decided to test the kindness of her neighbors. So check out what she does. This is during the winter time. So it's super, super cold. She decides to dress like a homeless person, okay? Real raggedy looking and just, you know, looking like she really, really, really needed some help, okay? So anyway, she decides to go to her neighbor's doors to see if they will give her anything. So she just goes from house to house. Everybody's house that she went to, she either got nothing or something of very, very little value. Okay, until she went to one particular house, it was the house of a, a very poor guy, it was a poor, a poor man, okay? And so he actually welcomed her in, gave her a, a nice warm blanket and gave her a meal and everything, right? So the next day, check out what she does. She invites all those same people over to her estate, okay? Now she's rich. She has butlers and maids and the whole shebang, right? <laughs> so she has everybody come to her house to her dinner table. The dinner table sits probably like 10, 12 people. I don't know. And everybody has their name on their seat. She invited everybody to her crib so they could sit and have dinner together, right? Unfortunately, nobody had nothing on their plate because... <laughs> She was trying to teach a lesson, except for the one guy. The one guy, his plate was full of just everything you could think of. He had it all. I mean, he was getting his grub on. Everybody else was like, where's mine at? <laughs> so anyway, the more of the story was to prove a point, the lady ends up saying, I'm giving you what you gave me. Because, see, they didn't know that she was that person dressed up like a bum, okay, or a homeless person. So, kindness goes a long way, man. You get back what you put out, okay? So, that, that's the whole more of the story. Now, I'm going to give you an example of this. This is a true story. True story. I would say about, I don't know how long ago, but uh, let's say, I think it was around 2005, 2006, I was uh, I was chilling, but I was sleepy. It was around 1 a.m. in the morning, okay? I got a, a phone call from one of my homeboys. He was like, man, you need to come out, man. Bone Thugs and Harmony, they, they doing a, a, a studio session. But it was only one that was there. It was Lazy Bone, okay? So I did not feel like going, man. I was so sleepy, but I ended up going. Went to the crib. Actually, it was a home studio. So I go over there. And they're they working on beats, right? So, of course, I'm familiar with Bone Thugs and Harmony, of course. So I get there, I meet Lazy. I'm like, "What's up? What's up, man?" He was like, "What's up? What's up?" And hey, you think you could work this machine over here? So at the time, <laughs> all they had was like a a keyboard and a Roland 2480 VS. Y'all remember? Anybody remember that? So they was trying to figure out how to how to work it. So. I really didn't know how to work it myself, but I knew how to work the keyboard. So I'm playing stuff and we just over there jamming, having a good time. Now, what happened to that beat? I have no idea. I have no clue at all. <laughs> but anyway, I was just doing it for fun. You know, just out of kindness and just doing me. At the end of the night, Lazy comes up to me. He was like, man, I appreciate your time, man gives me some money man he get, he gives me a $100 bill out of nowhere was I looking for that no was I expecting that no not at all but because I was being kind he reciprocated that kind back towards me man crazy so just be kind man smile to people man say something nice compliment do something man you know <laughs> you ain't got to be mean all the time for you mean people for you dislikers <laughs> Be some, do something nice to somebody, man. You know, for anybody. And this goes for everybody. It don't matter what you do. All right? So I'm sending peace and positive energy. <laughs>